Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm at King Harbor this morning, Redondo Beach. About to meet up with Mike, who's getting some live bait right now. Let's see, what time is it? It is 6.48 a.m. Water temperature is at 67.6 degrees. Air temperature is right at 64 degrees. Looks like there's no one at the bait barge this morning. You can see the sun rising up behind me. I saw some bait coming in right out there. I'm going to try to fish for it. Oh, I didn't hear him. They look like sunsets. All oh, babies, look at that. That's a first on a sabiki. Yeah, I've gotten them here before. I was just trying to see if they're sunset or like black hill or something. It's hard to tell. Can you tell from there? Uh, can you hold it sideways? Yeah, that's a sunset. Yeah, look how. I'm glad they're shallow. We could just. No barrow trauma. It's the biggest one. So as I was dropping this beaky rig down, in this area we were targeting mackerel but i could not stop catching these lizard fish we must have been on top of a big old school because nothing else was biting not a single mackerel okay i just arrived at the reef dropped down my sabiki hopefully i'll make some some bait here ideally pacific mackerel but we'll see i'm seeing i'm already metering fish so that's good 76 feet of water. Man, it's a giant school. Yep, got something. Hopefully it's mackerel, yep. Oh yeah, baby. That's what we need. Oh, it's big. Okay, switch spots. I'm now in deeper water, 309 feet. And I just dropped down one of my lizard fish, the biggest one. Let's see if uh, we'll have any takers. Alright, finally on to something. After soaking my live bait in the water for about 15 minutes, I ended up pulling him back up to the surface and found that he was already dead. One thing you should never do is use a trap rig on lizard fish. They just can't handle it. So I ended up just chopping up the lizard fish and then switching to a double dropper loop here, which worked using the chopped lizard fish as bait. Oh wow, I got a sand dab and a little Sunset. Yeah, I think I'll use a sand dab. Yeah. 
So here I'm swapping out the double dropper loop for a reverse dropper loop rig so that I could use a sand dab as bait. When it comes to tying on new hooks to monofilament or for fluorocarbon for that matter, the improved clinch knot is my go-to fishing knot. If you're not familiar with it, I'm going to have to show you that in a future video. Oh, dude, I gotta go. I caught a fish. Gotta go. That was Glenn from Southwest Kayak Fishing on the phone. So here's your tip of the day. While out on the open water fishing, do not take any calls. Yeah, I didn't realize it, but while I was on the phone, my line started going out. I wasn't paying attention. As I started reeling it in, I could feel that there was something on the other end, and it was pulling away. So, yeah, in this case... The fish just broke off. I mean, I have pretty thick line here, and I could feel the weight of the fish on the other end. As I was reeling it up, I could feel the just the size of this fish as it, as it was pulling away. And then at one point, you could feel where the line snapped because all of a sudden, it just got light. And you'll see what happens when I bring the line back up to the surface. Yep, dang it. Took the bait. Oh, he snapped off. Dang it, that was a big fish. Ah. <sighs> well, that's how my day's gone, pretty much. This is a 25 pound test. Really? Oh, this one has Yeah, polka dots. Polka dots. was using whole squid as bait and he was dropping them down 300 feet. And if you look closely, here he lands a spiny dogfish. And they appear to be plentiful out here because Mike caught a couple of them as well. Here's what they look like up close. Just kidding. This is the spiny dogfish. Alright, I'm approaching the harbor. Water is now at 68 degrees. Actually, warmer now as I approach King Harbor. I'm going to speed up the footage here a bit as I make my return back to King Harbor. So. Once again, it was another great day on the water. Didn't catch as many fish as I would have liked, but hey, it's always great to be out there. And I just wanted to say thank you for watching. And if you would, please give this video a thumbs up. Thanks again. Cast day here at King Harbor.